Well, I just finished building this frame. What I'm going to do in this video is sand it, fill it, prime it, and paint it. And the first step is to use my orbital sander with 120 grit silicone carbide paper. I'm going to sand the edge of the frame. I'm going to sand the top of the frame. What I want to do is blend in all of my different uh, levels. I mean, this is a, up just a hair, maybe uh, a 64th of an inch. So I just want to go over the top of the frame and all around the edge. Now I'm going to prime the frame and I'm using Benjamin Moore's 100% acrylic fresh start for my primer. And if you're wondering why I haven't filled any of my nail holes yet, it's because when you prime with an acrylic primer especially, it will raise the grain of the wood and it will need to be sanded. So I like to prime my projects first and then I come along and fill any of the nail holes and then when I'm sanding the raised grain, I sand the wood fill at the same time. I've let the primer dry and now I'm filling all of the nail holes. And what I'm using is joint compound or spackle. And the reason why I like that is it sands really easy. The soundboard that I'm using for my inserts in replace of the corkboard has loose fibers on the surface and on the edge. And by priming the inserts with the same primer that I used on the frame that will lock those fibers in. The surface is very absorbent so I'm using a lot of material. Now the primer and the fill are dry and I can sand the frame. I'm using 150 grit silicone carbide paper. I finished sanding the frame and I removed any of the dust and now I'm ready to paint the finished coat. I'm using Benjamin Moore's Dove White Latex Trim Paint. It's a semi-gloss paint and also I'm using a good brush. It's really important to use a good brush especially on your finished coat. Now this is a nylon polyester brush and that's what you should use with a latex paint. The finished coat is dry and now I'm going to install the inserts. And I had been planning on using double stick tape to do that, but on second thought I think a one inch long drywall screw is a better choice. That way, uh, in case I need to replace this material if the material doesn't work out for me, uh, it should be pretty easy to do by just removing the four screws. I want all my screws in the same spot on the insert. So I've cut this two inch block here that will work as a guide and all I need to do is put the corner uh, or edge to edge and then my screw will always be in the same spot on each corner. And when I set the screw, I'm just setting it a little bit below the surface so it's a little bit lower than flush. All right, well, all the hard work is done, and now it's on to the fun part, and I've really been looking forward to this part, and that's attaching the artwork. And it's just simply going to be attached with four push pins, one in each corner. And really the cool thing about this frame is you can change the whole painting just by exchanging one of these images for a different one. So anyway, I really enjoyed this project. I hope you did. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.